Welcome to our puppet play. This is a story about Mother Earth and the Bulb Children. A nice little story for springtime. Here are Grandmother's spectacles. Here is Grandmother's cap. Here is the way we lay our hands quietly in our laps. One day in the early spring, Mother Earth and the Root Gnome were busy waking the bulb children from their long winter's rest. Bulb children were still quite sleepy and they spent a long time ignoring Mother Earth's sweet whispers in their ears and the root gnomes poking and prodding. But at last, when the springtime sun warmed up their earthy beds, they woke up. Well, they wiggled a little in their beds. They yawned and they stretched. And they didn't know what happens next. And so they asked Mother Earth. She explained that she and the root gnomes were busy getting their springtime clothes ready. And now it was time for them to drink up all the sweet spring rain so that they would get big and strong. So that's just what they did. Drank up all that sweet spring rain, here a drop and there a drop. And little by little, they did begin to get bigger and stronger. Well, they started to chat together. They had so many questions. What would it be like when they got out up above the earth? Would the sun be too bright? Would the wind blow too strong? What would they look like? Would they smell as good as the roots and the stones? Would they get to go home with some little boy or girl? Well, with all of that chatting, they became very good friends and they started to think about where they might like to grow. One little bulb thought that he would like to grow over by the apple tree. And so that's where he went. Another little bulb thought that she would like to grow over by the stream. And so that's where she went. Another little bulb 
felt that he would like to grow among the roots of the trees in the forest. And so that's where he went. And there was one other little girl who didn't quite know what to do. She began to feel very sad. And Mother Earth could see a little raindrop tear trickling down his cheek. She asked him what was wrong. He said, well, all of my friends had ideas of places they wanted to grow, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to grow, and now I'm not sure whether they want me to grow with them. Well, she picked him up and said, no need to wait and wonder. Let us go and see. And so she took him over to the apple tree and she said, here is a friend who would like to grow with you. The other little bulb said, hooray, there is plenty of room here. Come, let's grow together. And so that's just what they did. They all drank up some more of that sweet spring rain. Here a drop, and there a drop, here a drop, there a drop. And they grew, and they grew, and little by little, you could see that they had grown long, lovely leaves. And at last, with the springtime sun shining down upon them, each one had a beautiful daffodil flower. They basked in the springtime sun and they swayed in the gentle breezes. And the best thing about growing by the apple tree was that there were so many friends there. Mr. Squirrel was there. The little brown song sparrow was there. And a whole family of wiggly worms. Life was good. And so they lived happily ever after. Snip, snap, snout. His tail was told out. Thank you for every friend. Soon we will meet again.